We continue to focus on how working people can make a difference through the legislative process, through the political process. We have no choice but to be involved. If we are not involved, those who do not respect us, those who do not support us, will be able to take advantage of us. The Mid-South Council, uh, one of the things we've done in the past few years is seriously get in, involved in local politics. And we believe that Doug Jones will be a voice that, that, that can be heard in Washington that will represent the common working man and woman. And he cares about people, you know. And uh, we believe that we, we need him in the office to speak for us. We have to have people that are aligned with the values of workers, with the values of working families, and that they understand we all must rise together or we will all fall together. Currently, the line speeds at our poultry plants are running around about, a, about 140, 137 a minute. And uh, uh, they have went in and they have asked the USDA to allow them to run these speeds unlimited, no matter how fast it goes. They're gonna run them up to about 197. And this is just totally ridiculous. I think increasing speed will have a lot of problems with the people's uh, the employees' hands. And uh, we have a lot of people complaining about the hands and the hands hurting. Because safety is always first at any processing plant, you want to make sure that everybody come with all parts, leave with all parts. We supported a hearing on a bill uh, that is banning a scheduling practice that really disrupts the lives of retail workers. Uh, it's, a le it's legislation that's looking to ban the practice of on-call, which is when retail workers are asked to wait by the phone and be called by their manager to see if they need to show up to work. It became clear about four years ago that the state of New York was going to uh, was finally going to pass medical marijuana. In New York State, the medical marijuana program has, uh, I believe, 10 to 11 qualifying conditions. Uh, these and conditions, to name a few, could be MS, uh, could be chronic pain, cancer, HIV and AIDS, uh, neuropathic pain, spinal cord injury. So uh, you have to qualify uh, for the program through these conditions. Knowing that the UFCW represents uh, the industry in other parts of the country, we got involved, um, made sure that there were some labor protections. And so it became clear and apparent that we had to have some sort of labor um, attachments to the legislation that authorized marijuana in New York. Uh, so we worked really hard on that. You know, we put a lot of effort into getting that bill done and making sure it had the protections we needed. So it allowed us to have neutrality agreements with the companies as they came online in New York. We can't be successful organizing unions without being successful in the communities to get them involved politically. It's one and the same. Because if you look at that many people in small town USA, if you have a block of 100 people, they can turn the whole election. Standing for our values. Standing for our values. Standing for our values. Standing for our values. Standing. For our values. Standing for our values. Standing for our values.